Welcome to this video about how to balance chemical equations. First of all, we're going to look at this reaction, hydrogen gas and oxygen gas combined to form water. We're going to start by writing down the word equation for this reaction. So in this reaction, we have hydrogen plus oxygen reacting to water. So this is the word equation. Let's transform this word equation into a symbol equation. So for hydrogen, we have H2 and then plus O2 for oxygen and this reacts to H2O for water. This now is an unbalanced symbol equation and you can see why if you look at the atoms at the bottom here. We have two hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms on the left for the reactants, but on the right for the product water we, only, we have two hydrogen atoms but only one oxygen atom. This means that the number of atoms is not the same on both sides and this is why this is an unbalanced symbol equation. To balance the equation, we need to make sure that there is the same amount of atoms on both sides of the equation. And as I've just explained, this is not the case and we can see this also when looking at the atoms here. So now we are going to balance this equation. To start, we are going to put the symbols for the elements involved underneath the arrow. So we have an O for oxygen and an H for hydrogen. When putting down the symbols, I would always put hydrogen last because it is the easiest to balance. So we're going to start with the oxygen. Now what we have to do is on each side we have to count up how many atoms we have for each element that is involved. And on the left hand side for the reactants we have two oxygen atoms. On the right hand side right now for the water we've got one. Then we do the same for the hydrogen and on the left side for the reactants we've got two hydrogen atoms and on the right side for the product we also have two hydrogen atoms. Now we go through the elements step by step and look at how we can balance them. So I would always start from the top, so we are going to start with the oxygen and we can see that the oxygen is not balanced because we have two oxygen atoms on the left and only one oxygen atom on the right. The easiest way to balance this is to double the amount of oxygen atoms on the right hand side. So we just times this one by two that means that we need to put a 2 in front of the water. So now we have two oxygen atoms on both sides and we have put a 2 in front of the water which means that now we have two water molecules. This also affects the amount of hydrogen though. So we have two water molecules now that means that for the hydrogen atoms, we need to times them by two as well. And now we have four hydrogen atoms on the right hand side. So now we're going to balance the hydrogen. We have four hydrogen atoms on the right hand side and two hydrogen atoms on the left hand side. And to bring the amount of hydrogen atoms on the left hand side up to four, we can just times this by 2 as well and this means that we need to put a 2 in front of the hydrogen molecule H2 here. So now we have four hydrogen atoms on both sides and we have a balanced symbol equation and we can also see that when we look at the number of atoms here we can see now that we have four hydrogen atoms on the left side, four hydrogen atoms on the right side. We've got two oxygen atoms on the left side and two oxygen atoms 
on the white side. So this is now a balanced equation for this reaction. Now let us look at another example. This time we are going to look at a neutralization reaction and we have potassium hydroxide and sulfuric acid react in a neutralization to form potassium sulfate and water. First of all we are going to write the word equation again. So we have potassium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid react to potassium sulfate plus water. So this is the word equation. Now we are going to transform this into the symbol equation. So we have KOH for potassium hydroxide plus H2SO4 for sulfuric acid react to K2SO4 potassium sulfate plus H2O for water. Now this is the unbalanced symbol equation and we are now going to look at how to balance this. Again we have to start by writing the symbols for all the elements involved under the arrow. If there is a metal involved, like in this case potassium, I will always start with this, so we are putting the K for potassium first. Then I would look for any other elements besides oxygen and hydrogen and that is sulfur. And then second to last I would always take oxygen and finally hydrogen. Hydrogen I always write last because it is the easiest to balance in my opinion. Now we need to count again how many atoms we have on each side of the reaction equation. So for potassium we have one potassium atom on the left hand side and two on the right hand side. For sulfur we have one on the left and one on the right. For oxygen we have one oxygen atom from the potassium hydroxide and four from the sulfuric acid which makes five in total on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have four from the potassium sulfate and one from the water which also makes five on the right hand side. For hydrogen we have one from the potassium hydroxide and two from the sulfuric acid so three in total and on the right hand side we have two hydrogen atoms from the water. So now I'm going to start to balance the equation with the potassium. So you always start from the top and work your way down. And for the potassium we have two atoms on the right and one on the left. And to balance this we need to times the one on the left times two. This means we have to put a two in front of the KOH for potassium hydroxide. So now we have two potassium hydroxide. This means now the potassium is balanced, but the two we've just put there does have an effect on the oxygen and hydrogen as well. So the one that we had from the potassium hydroxide before for oxygen and hydrogen now has to be changed into a two. Next we're going to look at the sulfur. We can see that the sulfur is balanced. There's one atom on each side so we do not have to do anything about the sulfur. Now we're going to look at the oxygen and we have six oxygen atoms on the left and five oxygen atoms on the right. So we need to bring the number of oxygen atoms on the right up to six. The easiest way to do that is to look at the one oxygen atom that we have from the water here. And in order to bring the number up by one, we need to double the amount of oxygen from the water, which means we're going to change this into a two, and we're going to write a two in front of the water here. So now we have six oxygen atoms and the oxygen is balanced. However, the two that we put in front of the water also has an effect on the 
amount of hydrogen atoms. So we need to times the hydrogen atoms by two and that means we get four hydrogen atoms on the right hand side now. Now finally we'll just have a look at the hydrogen and as you can see the hydrogen is actually balanced now. We've got four hydrogen atoms on each side and this means this equation is balanced now so we have the balanced symbol equation here. If you want to look at some more examples on how to balance equations you can look at the part 2 video as well if you wish.